Hey everyone. So I have a 12 by 24 canvas here. I already laid down um, Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray that is mixed with um, gunmetal metallic paint. And we're going to use that for a background and we're going to do a double bottle bottom pour. So my colors today are Lucas Sand which is um, just a little bit of a darker vanilla color. Craftsmart Gold Metallic. It's my favorite gold when it dries. Um, I may put in the Liquitex Blue Violet. Um, not sure yet. <laughs> and the Lucas Steel Blue. Craftsmart Midnight Blue Metallic. And then, of course, some indigo. But this is not going to be on any outside edges. This will be um, mixed in in between some colors. So, I want to start with... Huh, I think I'll start with that Liquitex Blue Violet just to see if we get a reaction with the Payne's Gray. I need to move this one just a smidge. There we go. Follow that with some of this sand. And then we'll hit it with the steel blue. The midnight metallic. Oops, got two, not just one. And then the indigo. This dries very dark. It looks purpley with the Payne's Gray, but it dries really dark. And we'll go ahead with the gold. Okay, I'm going to let those drip off, and then we're going to turn and do another layer. So I'm going to turn it just a little bit so that the lines match up with the other lines. Okay. And we're going to do it again. It gives your flower a little different effect. This uh, Midnight Metallic is very close to the Payne's Gray in color. And I'm going to end that with the uh, sand as well. I think that should be plenty of paint. So I'm going to get my hand ready so when I lift I can scoop so I don't drip. Interesting. That violet is pretty. I'm glad I used it now. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pull these in. I'll look at it for a second and see if I want to pull the other ones in. 
think I will. So on this one, I'm going to pull it right down into the center. These are um, American ice bottle bottoms. Um, you can get that at Walmart. It's a sugar-free drink. So you get six petals instead of five. <clears throat> the hint bottle will give you seven. I don't care if this one on this side goes off. And the same with this one. So all we're doing now is just stretching it out just a little bit without losing our centers. It's hard to watch two of them. <laughs> I've done um, a few of three, but you gotta be careful. You gotta have a big enough canvas. 30 inch canvas is good for three. Just a little bit. That top one is just like coming right at me. Okay. Okay. So I went off there. <clears throat> I probably should bring this one off and bring this one off. Or, better yet, I can airbrush it out. But I do want to play with those centers because they're really pretty. I want to add some dots of color. Just popping air bubbles. Brush it or not. <laughs> I want to bring this one down a little bit. But then I'm going to get this puddle here. Well, we won't know until we try. I'm going to airbrush it out because I think I can get more um, volume with the airbrush than trying to stretch it with without messing up my middles. If I can just keep the purple, I'll be good. This is going to be a tough one right here. I'll skip that for now. <laughs> I 
the struggle is real, guys. When you get in a spot that you want to keep stretching, but you know if you keep stretching, you're going to totally lose that center. And that's where a lot of people fail on the bottle bottoms. just to blend them. All right. So I'm going to take some white with no silicone. I have some actually in a bottle, smaller bottle. I can reach it. We got new shelving, so I have a bigger reach now. Okay. We are going to fill this up. sinking. <laughs> They're sinking. This paper towel is not behaving. It keeps hitting my corner. So what I may have to do when this dries is go back in and color these dots again. I just want it to go down. That just makes them heavier again. But they got a double dose, right? All right, I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. <laughs> I could sit here all day and just keep adding white and it'll just keep sinking, so. We will leave it as it is and we will play with it after it's dry. Uh, maybe on a Monday night I can go in and put those white dots back in and maybe a little bit of um, another metallic just to brighten up the centers. But I'm happy with it right now. Um, I'm not going to tilt it anymore. I'm just going to leave it alone and let it do let it do its thing. Of course, it's going to shift just a little bit, but I think we'll be all right. So I'm going to give it a quick torch and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications so you'll know when we upload new videos. Click like and share. Leave a comment. Check out all the links below um, for our Etsy shop where you can buy paintings, Amazon for supplies. Um, Teespring for hoodies and all kinds of stuff if you're part of our Parage Posse. And also, um, our fan mailbox is below the address. And if you want to donate to the channel to get in on our quarterly giveaway, that link is below as well for PayPal. So check out all the links. We have Stone Coat Art Coat Resin, um, a code to get $10 off a $95 order. There's just so much below check them all out and we will see you all on the next one. Bye now.